hello guys welcome once again till now we have our application in which we have connected to the local database with our c sharp windows form application and in this video i will show you how to add a search option to your uh, application so i'm going to add a new text box and a button so whenever you enter some name or on the basis of whatever column you want to search and when you press the button it will filter all the data and it will show you the result which you enter in the search text box so let's get started just select your table or data grid view from here and you will be able to see a small arrow at the top of your data grid view at the right hand side top so just click it and just select add query from here so for searching the data we need to add a query so that we can pass the query and filter the data on the basis of query you can do it in two ways you can directly write a query from here or you can use a query builder to build your query so i'm going to use the second option and i will use the query builder and for example I want to search on the basis of name all the data so uh, first of all I will give the name of my query so I will write search name query or whatever you want to give the name of the query and then I will click this query builder and because I want to search on the basis of name so I will select this name row from here and I will go to this filter column in the name row and I will write a query here so here I will write like and then space and then I will write at the rate and then the name of the column which is name and then write plus and then space single quote and this percent sign and then single quote okay so my query looks like this I will show you like space at the rate and then the column name on the basis of you are searching so this is name here plus space single quote percent and single quote okay now let's try and check if this query we have written is working or not so just go this go to this execute query button and if you see this dialog box then your query will work so for example i want to search the name mark in my database so i will write mark here and i will say okay and it will search for mark and it will show the result here and if you are able to see some result which is there in your database then you, your query is executed successfully so just click ok and ok and it will generate automatically some code for you so you see here it has generated a label a text box and a button from, for you ok and you can change the, the text of this button or you can change the name of or name or text of this label also so you can change the properties of these things or these tools or you can add your new tools from here also okay and now when you run the program you can just filter your data so what you can do is for example I want to search for this name Julie so I will write and I will just click the search name button and you can see it's searching for the data right so in this way you can search the data in your database there is one more thing you if you don't want this auto generated code what you can do is you can take a button and you can take a text box and you can perform the same option like this so 
button and a text box just I will change the text of this button and I will leave the name of this text box as text box 1 here so first of all I will click this auto generated button which was generated automatically when we have written the query and I will copy all the code inside this search name tool strip button click event and once again I will go to the design and I will select this button this time which we have taken from the toolbox and double click it and I will paste the same code inside this button click event but one thing you need to change is the name of the text box here this text box was uh, this is the name of this text box but now we want to ch change this text box to this text box which is uh, taken by us from the toolbox so just copy the name of this text box and replace it replace it here okay so you have replaced the name of the text box so whenever you write something in this text box now you will be able to search the data in the same way so I will run the program and once again I will search for Julie and press the search button and you see here you will be able to see the filter data here also and you will be able to see this filtered data here in the text boxes also so I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new this time. Please keep watching these videos and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.